Sellers are pretty much the same. Many think they have most of the answers about how to sell their homes and can do it themselves. Professional real estate agents have two jobs. First, they have to do a reality check with the seller, and once that is accomplished, the agent can set the course to get the property sold. Hey, it's Tamara Simons, your Utah Realtor. And today I'm sharing 10 myths that home sellers need busted. Let's jump in and see what myths they might be. These are some of the myths that sellers need busted to get them moving forward the to the closing table and to a successful sell of their home. Okay, here it goes. Number one, the seller thinks it is easy to sell a home, especially his or her beautiful home, and that they can get all they need to do to get the job of selling their home on the internet. Not true. Buyers are looking on the internet, but the majority of them want representation and want an agent on their side. Agents look for the best properties to present to their buyers and always start with what is available on the MLS. Therefore, for sell by owners, get the leftover scraps. Okay, number two, the seller thinks the agent doesn't earn his or her fee and that all there is to it is to have a buyer fall in love with his or her home. Well, this is so far from the truth. The agent starts the work before the home goes on the market. Gathering data, guiding a seller. Once it's listed, the marketing begins in a big way with lots of components. And an agent gets buyers in the door, gets buyers to make great offers, and helps with negotiating from the offer stage through the inspection stage, and finally arriving at the closing table and reaching success. Okay, number three. The seller thinks his or her house is worth more than the neighbor's home down the street with the same plan. This is not necessarily true, and the seller's home could be worth less, depending on condition, improvements, and actual square footage and location in the subdivision. Many components to be considered here. Number four, the seller thinks a buyer will be willing to overlook the clutter and the dirt. Again, buyers don't necessarily want to buy a project house, and if they decide to take one on, they want a monetary differentiation to make it worth their while. Also, not all buyers are visionaries, meaning they can't visualize themselves with all the seller's clutter. Okay, number five. The seller thinks prices should be over the market tolerance, giving them plenty of room to negotiate, and make the buyer feel like he or she is getting a deal. People, buyers are savvy in this day and age and are doing their homework. Many will not waste their time looking at homes that are overpriced. This also sends a message that the seller is being unrealistic. Okay, number six. The seller thinks the buyer will appreciate all the bright colors and very custom decor costing thousands of dollars. The fact is, most buyers like decor to be tasteful and not too far off the beaten path. They certainly do not want to pay extra for extreme customization and will do mental deductions in price to get it back into that normal category. Sellers, remember, your style may not be the buyer's style. Okay, number seven. The seller thinks it doesn't matter if the home is staged or in tip-top condition to show that the buyers will be willing to make or take a repair allowance for all of the repairs that should have been done over the last few years. Okay, the truth is buyers use their own calculator and their figures include a hassle factor to take on all the work that needs to be done. They also may not have that extra capital to pay for all that should have already been done. All right, number eight. The seller expects to get all the money he paid out and all that he or she has invested in the property back into their pocket when they sell. What the seller has invested has nothing to do with market value and what a buyer is willing to pay. This is a key point often overlooked by the seller. All right, number nine. The seller thinks he or she can limit showing hours to a very small pocket of time. The more available a home is, the more buyers will walk through your door. When you limit that, you throw up roadblocks and turn buyers and their agents away. Therefore, those buyers are walking through your competition. Okay, number 10. 
The seller thinks once they get a contract, it is a done deal. Here's what they don't know. There are more hurdles to cross, such as financing, home repairs, appraisal values, and a buyer changing his or her mind can all cause a sell to fall through. It isn't sold until the money crosses the closing table and all the documents are signed. Well, folks, that's it for my Reality Check 101, Myth Busting for Sellers. Have any questions, drop them below or send me a message. Remember to like, comment, or share if this video was helpful to you or you know of someone who could benefit from the information. And as always, feel free to reach out to me, Tamara Simons, your Utah Realtor, for anything community or real estate related. And until next time, make it a great home buying and selling day.